Abydos, Egypt, 300 miles south of Cairo. Looters target what was once the most sacred site to the primeval Egyptians during the time of the pharaohs. It was here that Egypt's first rulers were buried and the earliest forms of hieroglyphs were found as well as an inscription bearing the names and chronology of the first kings of primeval Egypt. Abydos was deemed sacred to the god Osiris, lord of the dead and Egypt's first otherworldly ruler. In accordance to primeval legends, his butchered head was buried at the site. Then, who was Osiris? Was he simply an ancestor of the ancient Egyptians? Or was he a deity who descended to earth? But we know that he was existed in an age that was known as Zeptepi. In the 13th century BC, the pharaoh Seti I was building his temple in Abydos when, according to few accounts, he had an encounter with the god Osiris. When King Seti was building his temple, he had a dream in which the Egyptian god Osiris appeared to him and he told Seti that if he was to dig behind his temple location, that he would find something of enormous significance. Seti digs 40 feet beneath the temple and finds the tomb of Osiris. For hundreds of years, no such tomb was known to exist in Abydos. But at the turn of the 20th century, archaeologists digging behind the temple of Seti I unearthed a massive underground structure consisting of granite and sandstone blocks some weighing nearly 60 tons. The Osirian, as it is now known, was found buried under 40 feet of silt, and primeval astronaut theorists are convinced that further excavations would reveal something much more profound hidden within it. The intriguing thing about it is that on the exterior wall of the temple of Seti is inscribed what is called the head or tower of Osiris, which looks like some kind of a primeval antenna type of a device. It has a precise technological or mechanical looking. According to legend, it has been buried and is awaiting resurrection.